Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this HUD kind of hologram computer screen effect. Um, we're going to track it onto a desk clip that I already have. And yeah, it's going to be great. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so I am here in After Effects and you can see I already have this desk clip kind of imported. We don't need to do the entire length of it. So let's trim it down to, let's say, just this portion right here. So what you can do is bring over this little bar right here to where you want it, right click and hit trim comp to work area. And now the entire composition is filled up by just this last section. Okay, so whenever we add in our HUD, we don't want it to just be still on there because it's going to look like some cheap sticker from a phone or something. What we want to do is track it into the shot, that way it's actually moving with the clip and it looks like it's on the desk. So in order to track this clip right here, First, let's name it Desk. And now if we scroll down over here, you can come here to Tracker and make sure Desk is selected and then click Track Camera. And you can see right here it's tracking. Now, it's gonna take a little bit, but that's fine because while it's tracking, we can actually work on making the screen. Okay, so we need a screenshot of what's gonna be on the screen. So you can minimize this window. I'm just gonna take a picture of the desktop and then I can take it and import it into After Effects. We wanted to make it kind of see-through because of course holograms are made of light. That looks about right. And now let's tint it blue. In order to get tint effects, just search up Lumetri Color over here in the sidebar. Drop it on there. And then under Color Wheels, you could bring up the highlights. You know, you want it to make it look not perfect because it's supposed to be a recording of another screen, which doesn't always look that great. So you know, maybe bring up the shadows. Now, you don't have to do this, but I think it kind of gives that cool classic hologram look, and I'm just making all these sliders partially blue. And now, I'm going to add something called the Venetian Blinds. Basically, that's going to add, like, these bars across the screen, sort of. So, I'm going to increase the feather and make this to go to 90. So, now you can see it kind of gives off that uh, effect whenever you're filming a screen and there's set as blinds or whatever behind it. It looks kind of like the light's hitting it, or maybe there's some kind of problem with the shutter speed. Okay, I think that looks great. Now let's go back to desk and see if it is finished. Awesome, it's done. So if you select the 3D camera tracker layer, it'll show all the different points that are being recorded. So you need um, at least three. I'm going to circle around this whole section of them on the keyboard. You're going to right click and then hit create null and camera. All done. Now right here on your screenshot, you can rename that HUD or really whatever you want. And now make sure that it's a 3D layer. Do that by selecting this 3D icon right there. And if you don't see it, you can go down here to toggle switches and modes, and then that'll turn it on and off to where you can see it. Okay, let's see if it's tracked into the shot. It looks like it's really close to the camera. So we can just move it back. Okay, now I've scaled it up and adjusted the rotation and Boom, we are done. So yeah, that is how to make a HUD or hologram screen effect in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and I'll hope to see you in the future. Peace.